Welcome back. First things first. <laughs> Chris Broussard is here. We got to just start televising. Like I just here. Absolutely. Fine, Maybe on the Fox Sports Go app. Some outtakes <laughs> yeah, with the commercial real break. Real outtakes. What was that? Uh oh, Dominic Sue just took a step in Los Angeles <laughs> <laughs> on someone's face. <laughs> uh, let's talk Kawhi Leonard. He's not taking steps in anyone's face. Only eight games left in the season for the Spurs. Still no idea if, when, or how Kawhi is coming back. He's only played nine games so far, hampered by a quad injury. The Spurs have medically cleared him to play, mind you. Yesterday, we told you that teammate Tony Parker said his own quad injury was a hundred times worse, and he came back to play. Now, former teammate Steven Jackson chimed in with some harsh words for Parker on the herd. Take a listen. Anything that comes out in the media or anything that needs to be uh, 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 said or distributed down to the team, it comes from Pop through Tony Ginobili. Now, y'all might not believe this, but the, the meeting that was so say threw up on Kawhi after a game, that was that came down from Pop to those guys. They didn't do that on their own. Tony don't have the balls to do that. Ginobili don't Ginobili don't have the balls to do that. Okay, they 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 just not outspoken guys, and and, and I don't think nobody feared them to respect their word, right? So that came from t uh, up top, no question. I wouldn't be surprised if this makes Kawhi want to leave. Because because you, when your teammates going against you in the media like that and not having your back, you know that's coming from up top. Why would you want to be there? Said a lot there, Chris Broussard. We'll yeah. start with this. Um, are Popovich and the Spurs being unfair to Kawhi? Look, there's a part of me that understands if I'm in their shoes, I'm paying this guy $19 million. My doctors who are have been overly cautious in the past are saying he can play and a teammate had a worse version of a similar injury and he's on the court so i i get that to some degree however i'm with Kawhi. there are too many examples in pro sports and even basketball where teams were just flat out wrong and play they told players they could go out there and play and we find out later it was a mistake Quickly, Isaiah Thomas. That was recent. He plays through his hip injury. Now, you know, then we know what happened. He had to miss, you know, the offseason seven months. Mm -hmm. His money is in major jeopardy. He's actually in New York now getting a second opinion on his hip. Right. I'll go is, back he to, is he out again? He's out. Again. Because of the hip. Again. Oh, maybe rushed himself coming back. Right? I'm, I'm going to say this, too. Grant Hill, we all know that a Hall of Fame career was derailed. Grant Hill has been on record saying the doctors in Detroit and Orlando misdiagnosed him. His ankle was bothering him late in the season, 2000 season. Yep. They told him he could play in the playoffs. He played in the playoffs, ended up breaking the ankle. He said he was actually relieved to some degree when he found out it was broken because there were doctors in the organization thinking it was soft, he was making it up. And one last thing, because this compares to the Kawhi situation, he felt in Detroit they were comparing him to Isaiah Thomas, the legend, the legendary Isaiah Thomas, who we all know 1988 played through a, a badly sprained ankle, scored 25 points in the third quarter of the finals, and then played the next game on the same ankle. He felt like people were looking at him mm -hmm. like, you're soft, you're not Isaiah. Look at what Isaiah did. And that seems to be what they're doing in San Antonio with Kawhi, comparing him to Tony Parker and others. Right. It becomes very, very hard when you have someone like Popovich, because this is a normal tactic for someone as a coach. Um, I got good experience with this. Good friend of mine, Ron Harper, was with the Bulls, with Phil Jackson, with Jordan, and they had many of these discussions with Rodman and other players. Phil Jackson would have Ron Harper be the go-between between, between him and the players, and the Shaq Kobe argument, disagreement, Ron Harper was the guy in the room trying to get these guys to come together at the beginning because he knew that they needed them, and it was on the orders of Phil Jackson. So what they're saying, what Steven Jackson has said about San Antonio and other places, this is a common practice. But I'm going to tell you what's not common. It's not common when you have star or established players who speak out against the player who is making that decision. There have been many times that I knew a player could play or 
not play. Regardless of what I thought about the situation, I would never release information to the media to make my teammate look bad. It's his career. It's his money. And I never won no championship. I'm sure I could have been aided at the end of my career by guys doing things that would have been to my benefit. These guys have won championships. So to me, it's, it's not right for them. They have broken one of the cardinal rules that you have, talking about another pl player's career on your team as far as the injury and or talking about his money. Those are things that you shouldn't do. So the players don't know what's best for Kawhi, all right? Greg Popovich, and we're going to do what's best for San Antonio, which most organizations do. So for me, I lean with the player because I know the player. I, I do think it's possible that what Greg Popovich is trying to do is what he believes is best for all parties, Kawhi included. How does, I, how does he know what's best for I, Kawhi? I didn't say he knows it. I said well, that no, Greg no, if you're going to suggest what's best, then that means you might know. No, well, you might know. The, correct. You might you're know. You're saying I, his intentions His right intentions, here. right. I think it is. I think Popovich has earned, from me at least, enough of the benefit of the doubt to believe that what Popovich might be thinking is once Kawhi plays, he's going to realize he's okay. Well, he played. And remember, he played, he played he, nine games. At, and, right, but, there was, but these were separate There is injuries. nothing Popovich has done that would make me put him in place of my body I, and or the doctor. Cece, I've been training. I'm a world-class athlete. All right. I got doctor's advice. I got trainer's advice. I am not looking to the coach. Should I play or not? There is not Popovich has done nothing that would allow him to go inside of me and give me more comfort. Me going onto the court. OK, that that's fine, which is why I'm not killing Kawhi for this. I'm not even criticizing Kawhi for this. What I am saying is and you might as the player say, I don't care what the coach thinks. I know how my body feels. I understand that. The point I'm trying to make is I don't think Greg Popovich is doing anything that he believes is jeopardizing Kawhi's long-term health. I believe what's going on with Popovich, and maybe he's wrong, is that he thinks once Kawhi gets back on the court, he's going to realize that he's okay. That is more of a mental than a physical hurdle. That once Kawhi gets out there and realizes, oh, I can still dominate on the defensive end. I'm still, a, all of a sudden, the last two years, a star offensive that player. That his injury maybe isn't bothering as much, that this is more hurt. psychological. They don't think he's hurt. They think that it's a psychological hurt. But what do they think it is if it's not? They think it's mental. Right. And what, that he doesn't think he can play well? Or that Kawhi, he doesn't think since he can Kawhi contribute? got there to San Antonio, yes. he is, they will tell you he has always been a guy that didn't want to play through nagging injuries, little pains here exactly. and there. He wanted to be 110%. So they think that's a part of it. They, they definitely think he should be out there playing. Right. And, and that, that's part and of it. They, and that, that's the point I'm making, which is I'm not a – CeCe's right in that as a player, your number one responsibility, I believe, more so than to the team or the coach or your teammates, is to yourself and to protect yourself, especially if you're Kawhi and you well, – for anyone, but Kawhi in particular, a guy who justifiably believes, man, I'm a potential Hall of Famer. I'm not going to derail my career in the, to come back late in the 2018 season. I understand that, but I also – understand why the coach might be thinking, man, once you get out there, you're going to see our doctors are right. Once you get out there, you're going to see that. You I totally disagree with you. There's mm -hmm. nothing that Popovich and coaches do not put themselves in that position. Because, now, not unless they have played. If you're Doc Rivers, you can go to Kawhi and you can say that. You know the reason why? Because you got experience at actually doing that. When you have been a coach and you have not played at the high level, you cannot get in a guy's body in the mental hurdle. Like, I don't believe it. he can't play that card because he doesn't have the expertise to know. And if I'm Kawhi and if I'm a player, that's what I tell him. And see, in San Antonio, they are used to guys just doing whatever they want you to do. Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Parker, you know, that's how they work. Kawhi, even though he's quiet, very quiet. He Don't is take that exactly. As the He's kindness. his own man. Stephen Jackson was that way. He wasn't a star, but he had he bumped heads with Pop, and that's what you see happening. People are shocked because of Kawhi's demeanor, but that's really what's going on. He's gonna do his own thing. Chris Broussard, thanks so much for being with us today. Much appreciated. Great job as always. Coming up, Fox and football. Are the Rams now the favorites in the NFC next? Ooh. On first things first. No. Nope. Because who did they get? <laughs> CC. No. <Nope. laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. How do you want to live?